Hello YouTube. This is Largo64. Uh, yesterday or the day before, I received a personal message uh, from a group called BlackPressRadio.com uh, telling me that black voters spoke on this issue, talking about Proposition 8, which is more religious than political for them, it said, they said. It is unwise, they say, for those who oppose black voters' decision to lash out at them without first trying to understand their religious right to choose. I had an answer for that, and I'm going to share it with you. Don't use the word right to choose when you wish at the same moment to deprive other citizens of their rights. Religious issues do not belong in secular law. That's what separation clause in the First Amendment is about. Injecting one group's religious belief into the law is establishment of religion. The First Amendment says you can't do that. No citizen has the right to deprive another of rights he seeks to secure or protect for himself. That's what the Equal Protection, Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment is about. Depriving one class or group of citizens of a right that another, albeit larger group, enjoys is against the Equal Protection Clause. That's what Thomas Jefferson called the tyranny of the majority. The Constitution was designed to prevent majorities from unfairly enforcing their will upon minorities. Laws not enacted by the Congress for the whole country are left to the states, but no state may make a law that is counter to the Constitution of the United States, the law of the land. No matter what happens in the California Supreme Court or the Supreme Court of any other state where a similar law was, it will, be uh, will be challenged, the Supreme Court of the United States will, must, overturn each and every one of these dreadful laws, not because they are legislating, as some people claim, legislating from the bench, but because they are enforcing the law of the land, which is their duty. You don't have to like it. But personally, I'm not concerned with the feelings of fanatics and bigots. Or did you think that only white people could be bigots? One of the things that um, I, I mentioned all this, I was talking about this with my brother, and he pointed out something I think is, um, is correct. I believe he's right about this. That is that um, the Mormon church bankrolled the uh, effort in California to pass Proposition 8, um, a very large amount of money, something like $25 million that they added into the till in order to get this thing passed. And uh, he said that any religious organization that involves itself in a political issue like this, which is not a religious, which is a matter of trying to enforce its religious belief on the public generally using our laws, ought to be deprived of its, um, of its tax-exempt status. I think that's true. I absolutely believe that uh, churches ought to keep their damn mouths shut when it comes to politics, and if they don't, they should not be able to get tax-exempt status. So um, I expect uh, probably a lot of people are going to be really pissed at me. That's just fine, because uh, I'm not going to change my mind about this.